is Nebula scripting in solo queue? Does the LCO have a new king of mid? And will Nat be Warner Music's next up and coming rapper? All this and more on this week's episode of Who's Gappin' and Who's Cappin'. I don't want to go back, let's jump on in Thomas Shen. He Legacy vs. Chiefs was talked up to be the hype matchup of day one. Time for the El Clasico! It turned out to be an absolute shit show as per usual. We saw a failed level one invade, and Curzio capping for sure first timing champs on stage, and Sybil doing civil things with a 1v2 double kill in the top lane. I mean, this game had everything. Maybe it is the old Classico after all. We saw the longest game of the LCO so far between Peace and Gravitas going more than 50 minutes. Legitimately losing my mind watching this. Let me tell you, when the game goes this long, there are no winners. I mean, this, this kind of game, it takes years off your life. So the photos for the LCO broadcast are out, and I have to say, I have a bone to pick with whoever made these. Someone put my noodle arms next to these two Jack Tunks in Only in Cowra, and to be honest, I'm not even sure if these are my arms. But let's take a look at some of, some of these other photos. Gravitas one is whatever. Puma like either looks like he's like privy to some kind of joke that, that no one else knows about, or he's like, he's like shit himself and he doesn't want to tell anyone. Yeah, legacy, nothing really to say. The Chiefs one is where things really start getting interesting. So we've got Kize who's, who's been stretched sideways for some reason, lived with an open mid haircut and also hair color matching the, the uniforms. Hair color on point to match the jerseys. Yeah, this one's, this one's trash. Peace is like, I think they have a good jersey to be honest. The clip of the week, perhaps to no one's surprise at all, is the back door between Peace and Gravitas. I promise it's not going to be a back door every week, but the past two weeks they've just been way too good to pass up. The game feels like it's been going forever at this point, so Safra and Kyoze decide they're going to put a stop to it one way or another. While Safra and Kyoze are pushing top, a couple of the other Gravitas members look to start the Elder. Unfortunately, they have no spatial awareness and fail to ward the bush, and so they just get instantly killed. Safra and Kyoze go for something pretty risky and eventually end the game in a really, really close finish. Win here for Gravitas as they look to try and take this one down. Surely one more would it take? One. Peace probably thought they got away with like the greatest heist of the split with a win over PGG with a backdoor in much the same fashion just the week before, only to get backdoored a week later. I mean, that's just a classic. Classic. After all that, the player that delivered is Safa with a 3-6-6 six, and six scoreline, which is how you know the game has been an absolute disaster. To be honest, I'm not even sure the voucher is worth it. This kind of feels like one of those solo key games where you play for an hour and then at the end you only get plus 14 LP. Sort of feels like you just want that hour of your life back. <laughs> Taking a look at the standings at the end of week two, we see four of the five Gauntlet teams from Split 1 all tied up at 3-1 and one in first place. A surprise win over Peace puts Gravitas tied 2-2 two and two with Direwolves in the middle. And finally, Legacy and Mammoth have yet to pick up a win. Thank you guys for watching week two's episode of Who's Gappin' and Who's Cappin'. Your boy will be back next week with another episode. Are you not the king of mid anymore? Nah, WayX is the king of mid, but it won't last that long, I'm sure.